Come on, pick up, pick up, pick up. Hey, are you busy? Oh, you're in a meeting? That's fine, I'll, I'll be quick. Okay, why is it called chili if it's hot? Today I decided to just let my hair dry naturally, air dry. This is what it looks like. Yes, birds live here. Hi guys. All right, today's Dollar Tree haul is so good. Buckle up. It's going to be a wild ride. But before I get started, I do want to say that if you're new here, just last week I did DT week where I hauled from Dollar Tree for seven straight days. And then this past Wednesday, I kicked off my very first Valentine's Day DIYs using all Dollar Tree products. Um, so I will link that video down below in case you missed it. I also have a Valentine's Day playlist where I basically compile all of my Valentine's Day related videos that I've ever put out into that playlist. So essentially you could just begin watching the playlist and it will play all of those videos back to back. There's DIYs in it, decorating in it, all of those things. But let's go ahead and get started because look what I found. Okay, if if you've been watching, then you know exactly why I've been searching for this. I only found one. I'm just trying to pick them up as I find them. This is the cabinet shelf from Dollar Tree in white. Um, but I've been wanting these to organize my kitchen cabinets with, and they're just perfect for that. And I looked on Amazon, they're kind of expensive um, for like one. So knowing that they exist for a dollar, I've just been like holding out trying to wait patiently. And I only found one at this one store, but I went ahead and grabbed it. I found two really interesting books with pretty amazing covers on them. I mean, they're quite stunning to be honest, and I got these for a dollar. Um, have no idea where these books came from. I don't know, you know, if they came from like a local bookstore or like Barnes and Noble kind of thing and that just somehow fell into Dollar Tree. But this one is a New York Times best-selling author. And I read the inscription and I kind of laughed through some of it because it's really interesting. So if you are at Dollar Tree and you happen to see this book, just kind of open this flap and read through through there. But it, it's pretty wild. I'm not going to like read through all of it um, or really kind of any of it, to be honest, because I feel like you guys might fall asleep. But let me just use some keywords here for you. Uh, the local king of cats, uh, Jazz, Raven maid, girlfriend of Toby Svetch. What, what, is, what does that mean? Um, Toby was once mortal and then she became immortal because she was transformed into a fish. It's a whole thing. Um, but New York Times bestselling author, so there you go. It's called the Brightest Fell. I do have to say, like, once again, the cover art is actually really, really pretty. It gives me a very future fantasy type uh, style, you know, kind of like Hunger Games type stuff. Um, so really interesting. And then from Unseen Fire. From Unseen Fire. I really love the cover of this one. Just gives me, like, all the Greek style vibes in this. Um, but... Yeah, it's a really beautiful book. I don't know, it once retailed for $26, is what it says here on the inside flap there. So always books are great um, for a dollar, obviously if it's like up your alley, but you know what I'm saying. Um, okay, next up I picked up one of these heart decor signs. You can see they're just pretty plain. The obvious intention is to DIY this. You could Mod Podge this and put like your scrapbook paper of choice. Um, that would be really pretty because then you could just customize it to your decor, you know, especially if you use certain things like black and white stripes. Um, yeah, just all kinds of different patterns, even like floral. If you're really into a girly shabby chic style, you could just do a really pretty um, floral scrapbook paper and that would be gorgeous and then of course you can paint this and do all kinds of things you can add things to this so these are always great for um, using them as a canvas to DIY to your heart's content no pun intended I think I do have several of these in my stash but I wanted to get another one just in case because I think I'm gonna be um, doing a DIY with this one okay 
Next up, I grabbed this poster sticker. I, You guys know that I have quite the collection of these poster stickers from Dollar Tree and also the wall decals. I feel like they're simply one and the same for me because both are flat, um, even though they're labeled differently. Like this one's labeled poster sticker, the other ones are wall decals. But if you wanted to use them on paper, um, you could still take like a glue stick and then they would stick pretty fine. I actually got this because I'm going to be doing a vision board uh, video for my vlog channel. And I thought these would be really great to kind of like put on the vision board and then like write, you know, with a permanent marker, like, you know, inspiring words and, and you know, just vision type words like, you know, health and happiness kind of thing. So... Um, be on the lookout for that video coming soon to my vlog channel. Um, so there's that. Okay, I'm also completely grabbing at random. And look what I found. Very excited that I was able to pick up a couple more of these makeup vanishing towels. I recently reviewed this product on my Instagram. I put it on my story and then I put it on my story highlight and this just simply works. It's supposed to be a dupe to the magic, not the makeup eraser, um, which is on Amazon being sold for $20 for one towel. And this, yeah, this is supposed to be a dupe of that. Obviously this is not $20, it's $1. And let me tell you, it works like a charm. You can definitely go visit my Instagram, go to my main page, find the highlight reel that says DT reviews, You'll probably have to skip through previous DT reviews to get to this one, but I gave this raving reviews 10 out of 5 stars, and all it takes is water. Water in this towel, that's it. There's no soap involved, there's no chemicals or anything like that involved, and it simply does take off makeup. And it's washable, um, so yeah, so I could not recommend this product enough plus i love that it's pink so if you want to do a cute little valentine's day gift basket or like a little mason jar thing you could just take it out of the packaging roll it up really cute put it in a mason jar with other little spa like goodies and there you have it the other day in a dollar tree haul i showed you guys some pink products that i've been finding throughout the store not related to the Valentine's Day aisles that Dollar Tree has set up, just to show you guys what else is throughout the store that has like a pink theme in case you wanna do, you know, a colored theme basket for Valentine's Day. Okay, next up I found the Moss Bunnies. I have been steadily trying to go through all of my 2019 videos just to compare what I was finding last year to this year, and I, couldn't quite remember if these were out last year. I, and my first instinct was that it wasn't. Like when I first saw them, and you can see they are moss shaped little bunnies. Let's take this one out of the packaging so that you can just see it properly. But look how stunning that is. These are just gonna be a game changer for uh, spring and Easter DIYs. It's just absolutely flawless. Um, wish that we could maybe get them in various sizes, um, but I only found it, these in the pack of threes. All right, next up, I am very excited about these. I got these for my niece. I am gonna open up one on camera for you guys. This is the, what, Play Mobile? I'm not sure, I don't really know what's trendy, what's great, what's like popular from a toy perspective. I just know like looking at something whether my niece is going to like it or not, but the cover of this was just really cute. It just looks like Lego people. I was just like, what? So these are essentially blind bags. You don't exactly know what you're getting. You can see that it doesn't really tell you. Honestly, that's what I think makes it, this exciting. There's even videos on YouTube where people just open up blind bags all the time. This is series 15, whatever that means. And I did get quite a few of these. Um, so yeah, I just, I think these for a dollar are just amazing. So let's go ahead and open up one of these and see what is kind of 
kind of going on in here. I can hear a bunch of little... Okay, so immediately I see a bunch of blue parts. So if I were to look here, I think I got her. Okay, Grandma, yes. Yes, oh, yeah, there's like a bunch of tiny little parts, but that's exactly what this looks like. Oh, girl, I'm like, no, I can't keep it together. This is just her top. Wow, honestly, I'm very impressed. Obviously, this is not put together because you have to assemble it. I think that's what makes it also pretty fun. Just from looking at the packaging, the contents, the quality of all of the little parts and the detail, for a dollar, I think that's a really decent price. Um, sometimes whenever I roll in through Target or Walmart and I see these blind bags, they are not a dollar. This series, which is Toy Story, it is Toy Story 4, whatever that means. So let's see who we got. And oh, how cute! We, I don't, I don't know. I don't think I watched Toy Story 4, so I don't really know all of the, the characters. What am I doing? This is not working out. Because the Toy Story ones are just one full piece without putting anything together, I went ahead and opened all of the bags so that I can show you guys who we got. Yeah, I, I'm sorry, but I just simply have no idea who who she is, what's whatsoever, like literally no clue. And, and oh, we got Buzz. I know who this is. Look how cute he is. He is actually mine and my daughter's favorite Um on Toy Story. And then in here, oh, we got a dupe. So that's the thing about these blind bags is you just don't know who and what you're gonna get. Very last one, oh, we got Woody. How awesome, and his hat too. Wow, the, the detail on this is just honestly stellar. All right, I found some shower caps. Now, Dollar Tree always sells shower caps. I think these might be new prints. I really like the polka dots. And then this, I like to actually use my shower caps for traveling. I use them to wrap around the bottom of shoes so that, you know, they're just kind of a little bit more sanitary in the luggage, not touching any of the clothes kind of thing. So I definitely use shower caps for that. However, keep in mind that Dollar Tree also sells like a packet of just really plain white, no thrills, frills shower caps, where it's like a dot, there's like eight shower caps for a dollar kind of thing. Also, I found some cute compact mirrors in the, uh, sassy and chic label. That's something to definitely pay attention to if you're just gonna become an avid Dollar Tree shopper like me, but Dollar Tree has a bunch of different labels within the store. So you will always wanna just kind of like pay attention to your favorite labels and see, you know, what new stuff that they're putting out. But these are little mirrors. I'll go ahead and open up one so that you can see what that looks like. And when you open it up, there it is. I found a table cover for Valentine's Day and I just grabbed it because I really liked the little red truck. And I don't usually use table covers like this for um, events that maybe aren't like birthday related. That's when I really use table covers or for like birthdays and things like that. But for Valentine's Day, I don't, I don't really use stuff like this. I just liked the idea of um, the fact that you can like cut out the images of the truck and use them in different ways. Yes, the material is plastic, but a little bit of glue stick works on this material as well, especially if you just wanna like craft with the images or whatnot. So I wanted to throw that idea out for you guys. Also, I'm sure you could probably make like tassel banners with this as well, you could obviously have to do quite a bit of cutting um, just to get like that tassel-y garland look, but um, so yes, yeah, so there's that. I also found what just impressed me so much are these Mardi Gras necklaces, but let me show you up close because they are a must pick up. 
So this first one has like uh, dice. Do you say dices? I don't, I don't think it's plural like that. I'm not sure, somebody let me know. But there are dice on here. What, how pretty is that? And you get six necklaces in here for a dollar. That's just absolutely amazing. And it just gets better from, from here. Then we have this one, which you get two for a dollar and you can see the end has the little mask. What? That is just so amazing. I'm so impressed. Even the beads on this is just really different and unique. Just so incredibly pretty and it will be fun to, you know, celebrate um, in your house for Mardi Gras. And then we have this one, which has the crowns. Oh my gosh. And this one you get three and you get the color gold or just yellow, I suppose. What? How amazing. Absolutely love these. And you can see the necklace has just like the regular style beads here. But yeah, you could definitely pluck these charms off as well if you wanted to and just reconstruct them in a different way. Um, like you could see here that you could easily pull off these crowns, especially if you're, if you're into pocket letters, you could do a little Mardi Gras theme and stuff these as little like, you know, gifts for your pen pal into the pockets. If you don't know what I'm talking about when it comes to pocket letters, just do a YouTube search on it and then you'll quickly see kind of what I'm talking about. Um, and this one is probably my favorite I just, here's the thing, I have to say that I don't think I even looked at this stuff for 2020. Earlier in my video I said 2019 that I was going to look back at videos, but I meant look back at videos from February of 2020. I'm still not used to what year we're in, sorry. But um, I did not look at this from 2020, um, but I, you guys. How amazing is this for three for a dollar? Like you just cannot beat Dollar Tree. You, you really cannot. All right, I picked up some more of the wood heart decor pieces. I've picked up several of these already this year and shared them with you guys, but I just wanted to show you, I picked up several more because I have different DIYs in mind for these two. All right, grabbing the last bag here. I found some more cute toys for my niece. I found these to be really impressive. I mean, you guys, you get the building and then the car and even some little pieces like stop signs and things. I think there was a fire, fire truck, firehouse one. Um, yeah, it's kind of a long, irrelevant story, but basically, I went to one Dollar Tree and I saw the fire truck one and then I just kind of passed up on it. Then I went to a different Dollar Tree where I found these two. But at this store, I did not see the fire truck one. So, um, so that's the story. Anyways, so I got these for my knees. I think they're really cute. I mean, the toy section has really been blowing my mind lately. I just can't believe that these things or a dollar. I, I truly can't. And um, yeah, these are just gonna be great, especially if you're gonna do, like think about these from an Easter basket perspective as well. Maybe, you know, grab a couple now and put it away. And then you've got yourself some really cute things for Easter baskets for a dollar. Um, oh, here's another uh, shower cap. You can see the design. I really love this one. This one is just really, really pretty. Let's go ahead and open it. So you can kind of see um, what these look like. Yeah, very good quality. Pretty thick, pretty thick material. You can see the design there. You've got the elastic band here. Yeah, it's just, it's really good quality. I definitely feel like these are brand new shower cap prints um, at the store. Oh, here's another. Uh, necklace and you can see that there's just coins on this one but Yeah, that's all it is are just coins. 
but honestly Dollar Tree popped off with the Mardi Gras this year. They even have feather boas, they have the masks, all kinds of things. Comment down below, let me know, do you want me to pick up more of the Mardi Gras stuff to share, show you? Cause I can pick up all the masks and all the things and, and share them so that you can see what's, what's going on. Um, yeah, just comment and let me know if that's something that you want to see. I picked up a suit storage bag. So I got this because I'm not gonna put a suit in it, but I do have several of these in my closet where I keep these in like, some of them I keep my daughter's like old competition cheer uniforms in and it just works really well. But I will tell you guys, just the material is really flimsy. I also have used these to keep uh, Christmas wrapping paper in, but I've put too many in mine and just it just tears really easily because it can't hold the weight if you're trying to grab it by this material. Um, so, but I got this anyway because I need to put away my bedding that used to be here for Christmas, my plaid and stuff. And I just thought, you know what, it'll be fine. I can just put my blanket in here. It's pretty large. I'll open it up so that you guys can kind of see. And I'm just using it for that. It's just kind of like a means of storage. But just to show you guys what it looks like. Yeah, it'll probably be a pretty tight fit. I, you know, the zippers, the zipper quality on here, it's just, it's not the best. So you definitely want to treat this delicately. If you need something that's going to just last you a while, you might want to hop on Amazon or something like that to get a garment bag. I definitely wouldn't recommend these for something that you just is very important to you, you know, but for me, I just know that I'll just put my pillow covers and, and blanket in here and then it'll, I'll be fine with that. Okay. So we got that. This next product, I was like, what? This is a seed starting greenhouse and it comes with the, the top and the bottom pieces as you can see they're right here and that's all that you get in here. You don't get the seeds or anything but it tells you um, general growing tips and seeds and cutting and all of that stuff but if you want to start your own little vegetable garden they've got these containers at Dollar Tree. Honestly, I feel like I want to give this a go. Comment down below and let me know what is the easiest thing for me to possibly grow in something like this because I just, I don't think that I'm a green thumb, you know, an expert at growing stuff. Then I found this, which is an air freshener. I've never seen them sold quite like this before kind of reminds me of like those potpourri bags. Um, this is a tropical breeze. Yeah, so you can see here that you've got the, the twine so that you can probably put this, you know, maybe around your rear view mirror if that's even allowed in your states. Um, I would just kind of throw these under a seat. But anyways, I thought it was really interesting. So I'm gonna try out the tropical breeze in my car. Then I found some new nail polish remover in this dispenser, which I think is really nice. I love this concept. You just put your um, cotton ball here and you press down and then it just dispenses. Like there's no tipping over or anything like that. So it's a really cool, cool um, container. And yeah, I've never seen this nail polish remover before, but it says regular for natural nails. It's a locking lid spill proof pump yeah it really is okay and then the last things which um oh wait no i have one more air freshener it's called blackout and supposedly it's supposed to spin i will insert a clip here because i'm going to test this out in my car assuming that it spins when you have the air conditioner going so it'll be interesting to see how well this spins with you know, on the lowest setting of my AC on versus the highest setting, if this even works at all, what it smells like. So I will insert all of that here. All right, so I have this clip in. I don't know if you can tell, but it's all the way in there. You can see that I've got 
the air kind of like on medium and it is coming out but this thing is absolutely not moving I mean uh, yeah just it doesn't work but I will tell you guys this it smells pretty darn good it just smells like a man to me so if you just like like that kind of like musky smell then you'll probably like this but as far as claiming to spin it it doesn't I mean obviously if I do it myself but like I'm not gonna sit here and drive and spin this damn thing so uh, tested and failed and now finally the last things which are definitely brand new at Dollar Tree had no idea that they were gonna do something like this but they are selling mason jar decorative lids. What in the world? So here's this one. You can see that it just has that universal uh, lid size to it. So it should fit um, most of the regular mason jars. Then we have this one, very farmhouse. I actually have, um, a piece of decor that has lids just like this and then here is this one which just I love this I love the star you know I live in Texas so I think this one's just very Texas for me the handles really pretty kind of has that industrial look to it um, love it and then we have this one which has the chain I know it's kind of hard to see but just so you can see in the photo what that looks like so essentially if you just get yourself some mason jars at which dollar tree sells you can replace it with these lids and then you can create a little hanging hanging mason jar concept just like that and i was just shook these are the only lids that i found i did pick up every single one that i saw but there could be other like patterns that they're selling but this is what i found I feel like today I was kind of tripping on my words, so sorry about that, but that's it for today's Dollar Tree haul. Um, as always, my schedule is Mondays, Wednesdays, Fridays, and Sundays. So I, if you love my hauls, definitely come back for Sunday's Dollar Tree haul, but tomorrow for Saturday will be a Dollar General haul. So definitely um, stick around so you can see what I picked up there from a Valentine's Day perspective. And I'll see you guys soon, bye.